Do you suffer from multiple chronic health conditions and wonder whether or not oxidative stress might be the cause? Then this video is for you. In this video, I will provide information on the six different types of oxidative stress that could be impacting your health. I'm Peter Struth, the founder of Glixen, and I started this YouTube channel for folks like you that are looking for answers for why they have poor health. If you want to be sure that you get the latest videos on how to improve your health for peak life, be sure to subscribe and check that notification bell down below. Many folks suffer from chronic health conditions like type 2 diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, and more. If you ask your doctor, what will they tell you? Well, there are certain risk factors that tend to lead to these chronic health problems. They don't really tell you why it's happening. They just tell you that your lifestyle choices seem to be important. Unlike medical doctors, we think that long-term oxidative stress of all types may be causing lots of health problems. My recent blog post describes six different types of oxidative stress. I provided a link below so you can quickly get to that and read it after this video. Okay, before we start, it's important that you know that oxidative stress is a collection of different compounds that are highly reactive. Now, another thing you need to know is that oxidative stress, normally, if you're healthy, it gets cleared by your lungs. It's being cleared from your blood. So what's that mean? It just means that when you're breathing, you get rapid transfer of oxidative stress from your blood to the air in your lungs, and then you exhale it. So that's great. That means all the oxidative stress is removed from your blood before it goes back to your heart and pumped throughout your body. Okay, so this also means that throughout your body, if you're generating oxidative stress, it's collecting in your veins and it'll make its way back up to your heart and to your lungs where it gets cleared again. Real easy concepts. The six types of oxidative stress that should concern you include blood, our favorite here at Glixen, yogurt of all things, alcohol consumption, smoking, infections, and skin. Let's, let's get into more detail about each of these types of oxidative stress. Okay, although yogurt is generally recognized as safe, that's GRAS or G-R-A-S, it contains probiotic strains that generate hydrogen peroxide. I bet you didn't know that. Hydrogen peroxide is a type of oxidative stress. So when you consume yogurt every day, it gets down into your gut, that's the small intestine, where it can grow. And if it's growing, it's generating hydrogen peroxide. So that means that hydrogen peroxide is either gonna stay locally in your small intestine, doubtful, instead it's getting into your blood system. So it's getting over into your blood system, going up through your liver, back to your heart, and to your lungs. So how many hours and how much oxidative stress is being generated from yogurt, we're not sure. Maybe it's time to lay off the yogurt for a little bit and determine whether or not that's actually going to help you improve your health of all things. There are two vices, smoking and alcohol consumption, which can also generate oxidative stress and cause problems for you. Now, alcohol consumption, if you have a few drinks every day, could cause local oxidative stress that's going to be generated in your liver. So your blood system from your liver all the way up through your lungs, again, is going to be impacted by oxidative stress. Now, that, that daily oxidative stress from drinking can impact the health of your liver, so you should be careful with that. Now, smoking is a little bit different. As you smoke, you're actually introducing new oxidative stress into your lungs, which gets into your blood system. So despite what I told you earlier about clearing oxidative stress from your blood with your lungs, when you're smoking, you're actually introducing it into your blood, which gets back to your heart and throughout your body. The other thing it does is that it's going to interfere with clearing of oxidative stress returning to the lungs. So it has a double whammy kind of, a, kind of an impact on your oxidative stress and your health. Maybe it's time to give up that smoking habit. Okay, the next type of oxidative stress is infections. Now normally, when we think of infections, we think if we get sick, short term, a few days, we recover, everything's fine. The oxidative stress that is generated in your body is normally going to be at the source of the infection. So COVID-19 is a great example. It's a respiratory infection, so that means it's impacting your lungs. It's impacting it right in there. It's causing this response. Your body's trying to fight that infection by generating more oxidative stress. 
Now, this is important. COVID-19 elevates your oxidative stress level to a much higher level. And it's dangerous because it's in your lungs. It doesn't get cleared out. That oxidative stress spreads throughout your body. Now, if you're suffering from chronic health conditions like type 2 diabetes, obesity, heart disease, we've read about this, that these folks are more at risk of death due to COVID-19. These people also most likely have very high levels of oxidative stress before getting COVID-19 infection. So you can imagine if COVID-19 adds on top of that, you get a much, much higher level of oxidative stress. Now that can be really dangerous, especially with respect to inflammasomes, which are used to clear out infections. They turn off at extremely high levels of oxidative stress, which gives us a little insight. Perhaps if we can reduce and manage our oxidative stress, that could be a way to keep COVID-19 from being a very severe respiratory virus. In other words, this could be an alternative way to flatten the curve. What do you think? Okay. Second to last type of oxidative stress is your skin. If your skin gets irritated from something like hard water or a combination of hard water and bad soap, your skin gets irritated, makes you itch, you get a rash, it gets inflamed. That also can cause oxidative stress locally in your skin, which can actually get into your blood system back to your heart and to your lungs, which gets clear normally. But if you've been having a long-term problem with your skin being inflamed, maybe it's time to consider checking your water and maybe getting a water softener. That might be just the ticket. Now we're down to my favorite, number six, blood oxidative stress or BLOSS. It's our favorite here at Clixon. Why? Because we think it's probably the most important of all six. It's very different than the other five in that your blood cells are the ones that are actually generating oxidative stress throughout your body. So it's not just restricted to a local region of your body or in your veins. Instead, it can generate in your veins and arteries throughout your body. So that's, that could be rather dangerous. And we think that the Western diet is the ultimate cause or underlying cause of blood oxidative stress. So that means you probably need to change your diet if you want to reduce BLOSS. I provided a link below to a blog post that describes a number of different diets that may be of interest to you. Some very popular diets that we think should help you reduce BLOSS. And now this brings up an important point about any dietary changes that you're trying to make to reduce BLOSS, how will you know if it works? We're working on a blood test, which we hope will be available sometime in the next few years that could help you out. But in the meantime, you could use a urine oxidative stress test kit. I provided a link down below. So you could change your diet and you could use that kit to help you determine whether or not you've actually reduced your urine oxidative stress, which is actually a measure of your blood oxidative stress. So consider that. Please subscribe and share this video with any friends or family members that may be suffering from multiple types of oxidative stress. Maybe this will get their attention. Maybe they, you can help them change some of their habits, improve some of their lifestyle choices, leading to better health, peak life.